Hey, New York City real estate buyers and sellers, it is time for our weekly Manhattan market update where we take a look at some key stats and find out what's going on in the market this week. I'm Dewey Moss. I'm your New York City real estate resource. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button, and let's get started. So here we are at the end of September, and I have to say that September is shaping up to be a pretty good month in the Manhattan real estate market, especially if you look at it year over year and some of our trends. Now, everyone knows that the past few years in Manhattan, we've been in a really tough volume trap where we just haven't had enough volume coming on in the market. Buyers have been reluctant because they're seeing the same listings. Sellers haven't put their listings on the market, but that seems to be changing because this is the first year where we're going to beat the numbers in volume and supply, which is a really good sign. It means maybe that Manhattan is back and our future sales seasons are going to be even stronger. And this has been a pretty strong sales season. So let's take a look at supply for this week. Supply is up overall by 4%. It does probably mean that listings are about to hit their peak for the fall season. If you take a look at the chart, you can see that probably we're going to start coming back down really soon in supply but supply has been very strong for this season and that overall supply number is supported by the weekly listings number which did go down by eight percent this week now that is perfectly normal it is time for us to hit our peak in terms of the listings that are going to come on the market and from September into October we'll see significantly less listings coming on the market Market. And then you look at liquidity, which is a measure of supply and demand, and that is down 2% this week. And that simply may indicate what's going on for the season. Again, we've hit our peak listings. We're beginning to really just work on deals here in September, October, and early November. So liquidity is probably going to even out as we go along for the next few months. But let's look at the all important number of contracts signed this week and that did go up by 1%, which is a good sign because again, we're hitting our peak listing season here. And hopefully in the next few weeks, we're gonna see a lot more contracts signed as buyers wake up or start making their decisions. And hopefully throughout September and October, we're going to have a very healthy sales season. And finally, we take a look at the market pulse number, which is a measurement of whether or not the market is favoring buyers or sellers. If the number is below zero, it favors buyers and if it's above zero, it's favoring sellers. This week's market pulse is 0.1. So what does that tell us? Well, it's favoring buyers, but just barely. Last week, it was just barely favoring sellers. So we're really right in the middle here of a, of a neutral market. That can be a very positive thing because that's where deals can get done. It is where sellers have, have determined that they're willing to do deals and buyers are willing to meet those deals. So we're not necessarily favoring so much buyers or favoring so much sellers, but we are in an area where good deals can get done. Okay, so there you have it. That's what's going on in the Manhattan market this week. All very positive news, it seems. Again, I'm Dewey Moss. I'm your New York City real estate resource. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so that you can watch these Manhattan market reports every week, and I'll see you soon.